In this After Effects tutorial, I will show you how to give text a shadow effect. We will make the shadow you see on this screen. First of all, let's create a new composition in the project panel. I right click and select new composition. I create a composition of 1920 by 1080. The duration of our workspace will be 10 seconds. It is not very important. Now there is a background that you saw in the previous video and there is a text. Let's place these elements in our work first. I right click on timeline. I click new and solid. Since we are doing this on a composition, it will automatically create a solid layer for me in the size of this composition. The color doesn't matter either. We will change this color in a moment. We are going to make it a gradient color to make it look much more beautiful. Let's edit the background directly first and we are done with the background. If you don't see the effects panel, you should make sure that the effects and presets option under window is checked. So this panel will appear in our scene. To give a gradient effect to an object in After Effects, that is, to give a gradient effect, we need to use ramp. We use gradient ramp. So, if you search for ramp, you will only see this effect. I drag this effect onto the solid I just created. I immediately created a black and white gradient with the default settings and of course, we change these settings. We have a linear gradient now, but I want a radial gradient. So, I first change the linear value here to radial. And you will see a little sign here. This mark is the center of the radial gradient. Wherever you turn this, this effect will start from there. So I take this effect and drag it slightly towards the center. Now let's change the color. We will use a red background. So let's first change the white to a darker shade of red. And then we are going to change the other color to a slightly lighter shade of this red. And so there will be a transition from light red to dark red. You will see a transition here and you can adjust the size of this transition from the icon below. When you narrow it down, that transition will become even smaller. It will be more like a spotlight. When we expand it a little more, it will look like a light that spreads over a large area. You can turn it according to yourself. Now I'm going to write a text. I'll take the text tool and you can write a text in the center of the scene. You can also write a letter. I will go with a single letter to make it clearer. After I've written this letter here, I will take the selection tool and place it in the center of the scene as I want. If you want to enlarge it, you can also use the font size in the character panel or you can click on the squares on the sides. To avoid this problem, you need to press the shift key on the keyboard so you can enlarge and reduce proportionally. In this way, I complete my writing and come to the align panel and center it both horizontally and vertically. We can even give it a little ramp effect. It might look a little bit more beautiful with this effect. We have written our text and finally we will come to the shadow part which is the main subject of the video. Since the text itself will be the element that we will give the shadow to, I need to create a copy of this text. I select the text in the timeline and press Ctrl D on the keyboard. This is how we duplicated the layer. I select the bottom text and in the character panel I change the color of the bottom text to black. We won't see anything at the moment. Now we will give an effect. I come to the effect panel and type fast. When we type the word fast, several options will appear. The one we need is CC radial fast blur. I drag it over the text we made black, that is on the second layer. Since we duplicated it, the ramp effect we just put is also here. I delete it. So far we are going very well. The CC radial fast blur effect doesn't have many parameters anyway. We can achieve the result we want by editing with the properties here. When we give this effect, the shadow will directly overlap. To change the direction of the shadow, I click on the center icon and then click anywhere on the scene. We will get the impression that the light is coming from the place where we clicked. So right now, if I increase the amount value, it will look like the light is coming from here and creating a shadow towards the bottom left. Let's increase the amount value a little bit to make the shadow more prominent. When you manipulate the center, you can also manipulate this icon. So you can move it like this. Anyway, this is the effect we want to give here. So if we give keyframe to this feature, we will get a look like this. So we will also be giving the shadow effect. Let's give it keyframes and let's make this thing animated. I'm moving the center point to the right or you can move it to the left. It doesn't matter. And I click on the icon on the left of the center. Now with the second layer selected, I press the letter U on the keyboard. When I press the letter U, it will only show me the features with keyframes. I move the timeline forward a little bit 
and move this point to the right. Let's preview it together. As you can see, we have given an effect like this. I will shrink the letter a little bit and center it on the scene. So let's see. I think it looks pretty good. In this way, you can also give shadows to your texts. I want to add one more little thing. I want the shadow to come from nothing, so I will give the transparent keyframe. With the second layer selected, I press the letter T. Opacity appears. I click on the icon on the left of it. I change the percentage value to 0%. I advance it a little bit and make it 100%. So we turn this interval into an animation. It will look like it appears from scratch. If you wish, you can give the same effect to the end. Let's do it together. I'm pressing the letter U on the keyboard. Look, when we press the letter U just now, both appear with opacity. I'm copying this keyframe and paste it here. I'm going back a little bit earlier. I'm selecting this keyframe, copy it and paste it. Let's check it again. You can even have a logo animation like this. Yes, in this video, I showed you how to quickly create a shadow effect with an alternative method without using any plugins. I hope it was useful. If today's video was useful to you, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel right now. Just click the subscribe button below this video. Thank you for watching.